Good morning to all. I hope you all are doing well and safe at your home. I, Ms. Gunjan Daswani from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota, welcome you all to the revision class of English text. And today we are going to revise chapter number one, that is meeting Suzanne. Chapter three, that is the starting point. So first we are going to revise chapter number one, that is meeting Suzanne. Let's see the main characters of the story, Yannick. about whom the story is or i can say he is the main protagonist of the story second is amandine amandine is uncle bruno's daughter and uncle bruno and the fourth one is pablo picasso now let's see what is the story about so story starts with the appearance of a boy named yanik so the story starts with the appearance of a boy named yanik who whose mother used to like a painter that that was Suzanne he uh, according to his mother he was the greatest painter in the world so uh, he always wanted to meet him so la- let's see uh, now second point summer vacation at his uncle's place so to spend his summer vacations he went to his uncle's place and his uncle was having a small village inn that is a hotel where people used to stay and eat at the same place only so that's a uh, in hindi we can call uh, it a dhaba kind of a thing where you people used to stay also okay so now summer vacation at his uncle's place he used to help his uncle in his village inn now visiting of a special guest so he got to know there is uh, there, there there is going going to be a visit of someone special uh, that is something very he was very famous he was something very he was very famous about something now what happened now yanik actually he was uh, helping he was he used to help his uncle in his uh, in running his village in right whenever he used to go to his uncle's place so uh, unknowingly he just took off the tablecloth and just uh, burnt it so at this point of time seeing this amandine scolded yanik So Amandine shouts at Yannick that why did you di- did this this is this is the tablecloth on which the famous painter has painted something in return in return of the thing he used to like in our village in so for fifth point Amandine realized her mistake how she realized her mistake Uh, students as uh, as uncle bruno came seeing this like uh, when she was shouting at yanne everyone in the restaurant was ju- was just staring at both of them only and they just both stopped eating they, they everyone over in the, everyone in the restaurant just stopped eating and went silent that time so after that when uncle bruno came uh, and he asked uh, and he asked amandine that uh, have you uh, told him about the table cloth uh, so she said she replied no i haven't told him about this so she realized her mistake because yanik has done that thing unknowingly so she realized her mistake and she started crying so sex point yanik went to the painter's house why sh- why yanik went to the painter's house because he don't want uh, amandine to cry he don't want to let uh, amandine cry and let amandine be sad about something so he went to the painter's house okay w- who was the painter student he was uh, the uh, the painter that has uh, came in their village in as the special guest as a famous pers- person now seven point he was given a painting made by the painter so the painter made a painting for him of sailing boats because uh, he asked him that what thing do you like so he said uh, i like sailing boats and when he went to his place he asked him are you suzan the famous painter so the painter replied yes i so, so, can you m- make a painting for me so he said yes i can and he asked him what do you like what kind of a painting do you like so he asked i like sailing boats so uh, uh, he made a picture of sailing boats uh, of, of the paris okay now eighth point the painter was none other than pablo picasso the greatest painter in the world so by finally when uh, he like the painter used to add their name in the last right so in that picture in the last there was written picasso so he asked 
uh, the painter that uh, why have you written Picasso because your name is Suzanne. So like he said it's nothing but the, now we got to know that who was the painter he was Pablo Picasso. So children uh, uh, by this story we, we can conclude that we, we should not lose humanity. At that point of time when uh, Yannick came to his place he must have said that I am not Suzanne but he didn't did this thing because he shows the he showed humanity that time towards the small boy because the small boy has came so far to just for the single painting okay now this was the story now we are going to read the internal questions hold up hold a pencil in your hand and mark these questions question 1 how does the writer show us that yannick is not impressed by the famous man but students this question is given on page number one on the left hand side you can see in the on the left hand side you can see below the word meanings this question is written over there you can mark this question this is your first internal question and the answer to this one is whoever he was he looked like an ordinary man without much hair so writer shows us that Yannick is not impressed by the famous man like he, he, he was curious that who was that famous man but he was not very much impressed because he hasn't even came across that man. So whoever he was he just thought that he looked like an ordinary man without much hair. So that was just the normal uh, thing that shows that he was not impressed by the fa famous man. Now question number second, how does the writer show a change in the atmosphere of the room when Amandine shouts at Yannick? So uh, what was the change in the atmosphere when Amandine was shouting at Yannick? Like I told you in the previous slide also that everyone in the restaurant stopped eating and went silent. So when she was shouting at Yannick that time everyone just stopped eating and just went silent and they were just staring at both of them. Now we are going to do the copy work and this question is on page number 2 left hand side you can mark this question on page number 2 ok. Now moving to the copy work now we are going to start with question number 1. What according to Uncle Bruno was the unforgettable thing that had happened to Yannick? So what according to Uncle Bruno was the unforgettable thing that uh, happened to Yannick? Let's see what is the answer. The unforgettable thing that had happened to Yannick was that a great artist had made him a painting to show his appreciation for Yannick's creamy brulee. So the Yannick's creamy brulee is a kind of a dish, it's a kind of an English dish. So he made, uh, Yannick made a special dish for, for the special person, for the famous uh, guest who was coming to visit their village inn. So he, he, had, he had got an appreciation for that as the, the famous person or the visitor has made a painting on the tablecloth in, in reward for that dish. Okay. Now question number second. Why did Uncle Bruno ask Yannick to look on the bright side of things? So uh, why did Uncle Bruno ask Yannick to always see the positive side of the things? Why he said this to him? So Uncle Bruno asked Yannick to look on the bright side of the things because doing so would help him face a bad situation. Like well, well, he told him to be positive in every situation because it will help him to face the bad situations also. Now third question, who was going to visit the inn? Was he someone important? How do you know? Now who was going to visit the inn? A famous man was going to visit the inn. It was clear that this man was an important person because there was a bustle in the inn and Amandine told Yannick that the inn's best customer would be visiting. So the fa a famous man was visiting, uh, it was going to visit the inn that time and it was clear because everyone was in hustle and bustle that time. Like everyone like when a guest used to come at your place, you have to prepare for so many things right. So at that time also because he was their best customer so they, has, they have to prepare a lot of things. So there was a bustle in the inn. Now question number 4. What did Yannick decide to do and why? What does this say about him? So what did Yannick decide to do and what does this show about him? What, what uh, kind of uh, uh, image it portrays about him? So let's see. Yannick decide to make things right and make Amandine happy again. This tells us that he is thoughtful and cares about other people's 
feeling so as uh, like uh, amandine was crying na like because he has got a scolding uh, from his father so he uh, yanik decide that he will make things right he will do everything right now and he will make amandine happy again so what he, uh, this thing portrays that he cares about peop other people's feeling also and he is very thoughtful okay now let's see question number 5 How did Uncle Bruno comfort Yannick? So, how did Uncle Bruno comfort Yannick? Uncle Bruno comforted Yannick by saying that the famous painter had appreciated uh, appreciated the creamy brulee made by Yannick. So, the drawing was for Yannick, and he was lucky to have held it, even if only for a moment. So, what has happened? Like Uncle Bruno comf comforted Yannick by saying, as I told you in the in the above question also. that uncle bruno has uh, uh, has comforted yanik by saying that the painter has made uh, a paint a painting on the table cloth in appreciation for that dish that he had made for the special guest so he said that he was very lucky to have held it because he was the famous painter in the world and it would just even if it is for the over for a moment only because he just burnt it right so it was just for a moment only but it was something very happy now question number 6 uh, six what did yanik do when he heard amandine cry how did she react so what did yanik do when she when he heard amandine cry when he when he was going to uh, amandine's room what uh, he heard that amandine was crying so how did she react to the situation so Yannick felt sad and upset hence he went into her room and apologized for inadvertently upsetting her. Amandine understood and said that she was more upset because she had upset her upset her father. She felt sorry for impulsively shouting at Yannick. So Yannick felt sad uh, and upset because of because he thought that uh, uh, she was crying because of him because she has got a scolding from his father from her father right because he has scolded uh, he has uh, she has got a scolding from her father that is why uh, like uh, he thought that uh, he uh, she is uh, upset because of him but when he went to his room, when he went into her room she told her that she was more upset because her father scolded him for the first time and he said uh, she said sorry also because uh, of because he she impulsively shouted at yanik now reference to context read the lines and answer the question did yanik know that he sketches something on the table cloth and leaves it behind for us So this line was said uh, said by whom? Who speaks the above lines and to whom? So Uncle Bruno speaks the above lines. He speaks to his daughter Amandine. So this uh, line he said by when Amandine shouted at Yannick, and when Uncle Bruno came, when he saw, so he asked uh, she, he asked Amandine, her daughter, that did Yannick know that he sketches something on the tablecloth and leaves it behind for us? so he uh, he said this line to, uh, on the situation that was going on there to his daughter amandine now b who sketches on the table cloth so who has sketched on the table cloth the fam the most famous person in the village sketches on the table cloth in the end so the most famous person who was their special guest for for that day and the best customer so who, that person has painted uh, uh has painted on the has sketched on the table cloth so see why does he sketch on the table cloth why does he has sketched on the table cloth let's see How, he does that to show his appreciation of the food he eats in the inn in so that thing is told by me in the above questions also that uh, he uh, he painted something he sketched something on the table cloth because he liked the food uh, made by yanik and in appreciation to this he uh, painted or he sketched something on the table cloth now we are going to start with chapter number 3 the starting point So the main characters of this chapter, the starting point is Milka Singh. Milka Singh, all you also known as uh, him as the Flying Singh, right? Second is Havaldar Gurudev Singh, 
and third is Brigadier S.P. Vora. So now let's see what is the story and as you all know the by seeing the main character that this story is basically about Milka Singh who was also known as Flying Sikh. So he has achieved a lot of things and he had won so much of awards now uh, because of his hard work and dedication towards his work. Now let's see. The second point in this story, we will be talking about the three fortunate incidents that changed his life. The three lucky incidents that has a great effect on his life. So the first incident has been happened when he was just a newly recruit person in the armed forces. So when he was uh, the, in the morning, an announcement was made about a six mile, six mile race which was going to be held and the top 10 winners of that uh, race would be given uh, the uh, glass of milk daily and exempted from the fatigue duties. Right? What is fatigue duty? A duty of like uh, household course, these are the duties of what? Uh, fatigue duties we can call them, uh, like uh, washing or like cleaning, dusting, these are called household course work. So these are the things we can call as fatigue duties. So they will be exempted, they will be free from fatigue duty. So he has got, he has, he was sixth in that race and he has won that thing because uh, in his childhood he was, he has uh, got so much of, the, uh, he had, he was having lack of financial support, so he, he, so he could not afford uh, luxurious things for, for themselves, for himself. So that is why that was the thing that uh, motivated him to achieve a glass of milk every day because, uh, because he didn't get that in his childhood. Now, uh, Havaldar Gurudev Singh's guidance. So, Havaldar Gurudev Singh guided him. He was the greatest uh, supporter for, of uh, Milka Singh because he used to support him a lot. Now, I can say like Gurudev Singh was a taciturn kind of person who does not talk much but uh, like uh, in the, in, by his outer appearance, he looked like that he was very rude. But uh, in inside he, was, he has a soft heart, like he was a very soft hearted person. Now like he has a great impact on Milka Singh's life. Now, so he went to a big brigade meet which happened in Hyderabad and in that brigade meet there was going to have, be have, for, there was going to have an event of 400 meter race, 400 meter event was going to happen and that was uh, the time the second incident happened and uh, on when he went there the sun would love the day was very bright and clear and he saw uh, people who were wearing a vest I have told you in the chapter also that what is vest and on that it was written India now that was the moment uh, that was the moment when he decided when he decided that what he wanted to do in his life he wanted to make his country proud of him he wanted uh, to have wear that vest on his on uh, wear that vest to achieve something for the country and that was the reason uh, for uh, that was the eureka moment for him now uh, what happened like when he participated in the race he came forth he was disappointed but he was not disheartened he didn't lose his hope and now after that he worked a lot more he did hard work and that time he was spotted by Brigadier S.P. Vora. Now after that day, he was exempted from the fatigue duties also. Now he got special attention for his grooming, for his trainings also. So this was about uh, this chapter. This was chapter, this chapter was about Milka Singh. And in this chapter we can conclude by saying, if there is a will, there is a way. So uh, now we are going to mark the internal questions of this chapter. Let's see. Question 1, what is Milka Singh also known as? This is given on page number 20 on the first line itself in the intro, introduction part which is given on the first page itself of this chapter. So you can mark this question on uh, first line and the answer is also given on first line only that is page number 20. Milka Singh is also known as the flying Sikh. Now question number 2, 
what is milka singh best remembered for till date now what is the best what is he remembered for till now till date let's see he is best remembered for his fourth place finish in the 400 meters final at 1960 olympic games and this question is also given on page number 20 uh, you can see in the introductory pa uh, part the in, from that first paragraph the last fourth line you can mark this answer over there now question number 3 what makes milka singh to bow his head in respect so this question is on page number 21 so what was the thing uh, when he used to remember about someone who was that someone so even today when he thinks of havaldar gurudev singh uh, sings danda he bow his head in respect as i told you that uh, havaldar gurudev singh has a great impact on milka singh's life right so whenever he remembered uh, uh, his danda because he was quite a very strict man when it comes to the work so uh, havaldar guru when he remembered about his danda he bowed his uh, his head in respect so these are internal questions of this chapter now we are going to start with the copy work now first question why was milka singh overwhelmed with joy on finishing sixth so why he was he very much happy why was he overwhelmed with joy like on finishing sixth in the 6 mile race uh, that happened so milka singh was overwhelmed with joy on finishing sixth because of all cheering he received from friends and strangers because he came sixth as i told you like the top 10 winners of the trade uh, race would be exempted from the fatigue duty and would be given a glass of milk every day right so uh, after that thing he uh, after he came sixth in the race uh, in the race now uh, we can say that he was among the top 10 winners and he was very happy because he got a lot of appreciation from his friends and his strangers and he got a lot of cheering among everyone okay Question number two: How did you, the Eureka moment help him? So the Eureka moment helped him to decide what he wanted to run for India and make his country proud. So now this the Eureka moment I told you that the, the moment on that he decided that he what he wanted to do in his life he wanted to make his country proud. Okay, so that was the Eureka moment and how uh, this uh, and the Eureka moment helped him how we have got to know about in this. question now we were going to move forward to the another question that is question number 3 who was gurudev why was milka singh so grateful to him so guru who was gurudev so gurudev was the instructor instructor in the army he trained new recruits but he was also a good runner who participated in races so uh, who was gurudev i told you that havaldar gurudev singh was their instructor instructor in the uh, in the uh, who trained uh, new recruits in the armed forces so uh, but uh, he was also a good runner and he used to participate in the races or in the events that were that happened that time so milka singh was grateful to him because gurudev constantly pushed the trainees he ran with them during training sessions and he encouraged them to run for the regim regiment his guidance inspired milka so uh, as i told you that uh, milka uh, gurudev singh has a great impact on milka singh's uh, on milka singh's life he was very much grateful to him because he always used to push trainees to do good uh, to uh, run and to do their work so and he encouraged them or he always encouraged them so that was the thing that why because uh, because of that milka singh was very grateful to him now question number 4 what was the big tree that milka singh looked forward to and what does he call it a, why does he call it a big tree so what was a big treat for him let's see the big treat that milka singh looked forward to was getting a glass of milk every day during training he calls it a big treat because his childhood suffered with great want and deprivation so as i told you that uh, in the 6 mile race he is going to uh, the top top 10 winners are going to get a glass of milk every day and that was something very much uh, 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 very much uh, 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 very much for him because he has not got these things in his childhood he had suffered a lack of support lack of financial support and he uh, he wanted to he didn't got so many things in his childhood so that was the thing that he wanted to have as 
a daily as uh, as in his daily routine so the glass of milk every day was a great achievement for him that he got in the 6 mile race now question number 5 what rule of thumb did milkha singh follow in practicing for 400 meter race why did he call it a rule of thumb so what was the rule of thumb for milkha singh and why did he call it as a rule of thumb now milkha singh's rule of thumb was to run one round at highest speed possible then rest and then run another and he called it a rule of thumb because it was a general idea that he was using to practice instead of any specific techniques so uh, milkha singh's rule of thumb was that he when uh, he used to uh, take a one round uh, for 400 meter and then uh, after that he will rest and then he will run another round so this was the thing that this was the rule of thumb for him because that was nothing very special or nothing it doesn't have any special technique it was just like uh, practice rest practice rest okay so this was the rule of thumb for milkha singh so question number 6 6 how did milkha singh's meeting with brigadier sp vora change his life so that was the third incident that we talked about in the last right so brigadier sp vora's decision gave milkha more time to practice on field better facilities a nutritious diet and a special attention for his grooming this led him to innumerable opportunities which eventually allowed him to fulfill his dream of running for india so after brigadier vora spotted him uh, in uh, in the night when he while he was practicing so that thing changed his life because after that with brigadier sp vora has spotted that he used to do a lot of hard work and because of that uh, he got, he now got more time to practice he got special attention also because uh, for his grooming for his training and he got a nutritious diet and that uh, the, and he got mainly he got more time to practice to achieve something for his country and he got at uh, this this led him to innumerable opportunities and now he got so many opportunities to make his country proud of him so this was chapter 6 now let's see the reference to context of this chapter read the lines and answer the questions i strongly believe that he was instrumental in motivating me to strive to become a world class athlete so who is he he mentioned in the above line so the narrator is talking about his instructor habaldar gurudev singh so the narrator who was milkha singh he is talking about his instructor milkha singh because he guided him a lot right question b how did he motivate the narrator so he would constantly prod the runners to run with a danda shouting them that they were running for the regiment so he used to push them forward for some, for everything and he used to encourage them a lot like he used to have a danda in his hand and he used to be like that you have to run you, you have to do practice a lot now that is the thing that motivated the narrator now question c how does the narrator feel about this person so the narrator's heart fills with respect and admiration for this person when he thinks of him even years later so whenever he think about him he his heart is filled with respect and whenever he think about his danda he bowed his uh, head in respect this is the gesture he showed when you are very much uh, grateful to a person that was gurudev singh please revise it thoroughly stay fit stay at your home thank you